there. So this is Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy, and um, I have a really cute, simple kind of Christmas card for you today. Um, it looks like this. The thing I like about this card is it's totally flat. See, there's no bumping up, so it's easy to mail. But yet with all these um, rolling snow mounds, I guess you'd call it, it does have some dimension to it and makes it look, I think, really pretty. So let me show you how I started. I um, took the, wait, let me think what it's called. Feels Like Frost designer series paper. Now the Feels Like Frost is a six by six designer series paper pack. And on one side it has beautiful winter scenes like this. Let me show you a couple of them. Are those not pretty? I think it's beautiful. It's got some purple in there and some blue. This one might be my favorite, but I do like them all. And so one side looks like that, but then when you turn it over, the other side is all silver foil. Look at these patterns. Are those not beautiful, right? So that would make any background on a card. And when you have a background, you got a simple card. Look how cute I need to use that. I don't think I've ever used that white one. What's it look like on the other side? Oh, maybe that's why I'm probably hoarding. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead... <laughs> and use the silver side with the snow to make it to make the background or the the top here of our card and then some simple trees with the um in the pines the die set that goes with it love this die set i'm sure you've seen me use it before but let's let's just let's just start so i have a piece of um designer series paper and this one you can see is just half a sheet i've cut it in three inches because it's six by six so this is three by six and I need to cut this down to three by five and a fourth cut that down and then I have a piece of thick whisper white and it is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a fourth just a simple card base but I'm going to take this designer series paper here and just um, adhere it to my card base. Whoop. Keep waiting, my tape is gonna run out here soon, but I'm gonna use it to the very end. So then I'm gonna just layer this like it um, has that border, eighth of an inch or fourth of an inch border all the way around so it looks like that. Now then I'm gonna get a piece of, um, this is just a scrap of Whisper White, and I made sure that it was five and a fourth inches this way, because look, that's exactly how wide we need it for this card here, for our card. And then I'm gonna bring in my die cut machine and my platforms. So I'm gonna start with um, platform number one, and then plate number two, because we're using the dies, and then I'm gonna use my magnetic plate which is number five and if you haven't seen my video regarding the magnetic plate you got to go back um, and watch that video how great this plate is you could see it on my youtube channel or i think i have it on my blog too which is um be created with kathy.com and show you what that's all about but anyway let's start with um our now where'd my dies go here they are our little snow mound here and I want it to be see how it's about this thick because it's going to cut up here and not down here so we'll have it about like that and then I'm going to use you know, of course the two trees I need are at the bottom of my package and I can't get to them okay this little tree here and this tree here and we'll start right there with, and then our other cutting plate on the top and we'll run that through the die cut machine. So now we have our trees. Oh, there they are and everything, put these away. One tree. Okay. 
there's the other tree and a snow mound. Then I'm gonna take, wait, hold on, let me clean this off real quick. Put that in the trash. All right, now we're gonna go again, same sandwich. Put the cardstock in this way, because now we need Dang it, this snow mound. And I'm gonna make this one pretty thick. I can cut it down afterward, but I want it to be at least three inches. See, we need it to go all the way up to here to cover that part of the um, cardstock that's not covered with like designer series paper. I hope that makes sense. So let's take it about like that and run it through our die cut machine again. Come on, cooperate. Here we go. So there's one, and then we have to do it again. So let me take my paper trimmer, and we'll cut this straight. And then run it through there one more time. And this time it doesn't have to be quite as deep because it's just going to be a layer. But I'm going to make it, we can cut it down if we need to. About there. Now, if I was smart, I would measure my paper and lay it at the top of the paper and all that stuff, but that takes a lot of planning, I guess. So let's, if I was going to do a bunch of them though, I would definitely, um, oh, and this one, this one might not work because it has the, um, Nope, it's gonna work. I laid it down the wrong side. We need to measure it now so that it's five and a fourth. We lay it down here. Whew, we barely made it, but now it still works. Okay. Let's see if we have all of our pieces and parts. So we have our card base. We have the snow, which looks good just like that. We have our second that looks like that. And then I will take this piece and make sure that this border down here is just perfect. And then it will look like that. So let's go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna put this one down and put adhesive all over the back. Maybe a little bit here. And figure out about where I want my snow. That looks good. Okay, and then this one, I'm only gonna put tape on the two ends because, there we go, because I want to be able to slide the trunks of my trees underneath this mound here. Well, maybe, maybe I won't. And this one, I'm going to stamp on it first. So let me bring in my, oh, well, I can't find my cutting pad, so I guess we won't. In the stamp set, though, though it has the season's greetings, Let's bring that in. Now I should be stamping on my pierce mat, but my pierce mat is not at my video table, so I guess we're not gonna use a pierce mat. But I'm gonna use Mary Molo ink and ink that up, the little season's greeting, and just stamp that straight down. Let the ink sink in for just a minute. Look how pretty that Mary Molo, it's a deep, burgundy ink that I just love, especially with this silver. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for just a second. While I'm wetting, letting that dry, let's go ahead and stamp the inside. So I'm going to use Smoky Slate ink and this thin tree right here. Get them onto a block. Make sure he's got some ink on there and then just stamp him here. And then for kicks, I'm gonna just stamp him one more time without inking him up. Let's see if I can get on the canvas screen here. And it looks like that, which I think is really pretty. Now, I just got a new stamp set that is the Wishes 
wonders and I love that that says may the wonder of Christmas stay with you throughout the coming year I think that is beautiful those are the words I want to use on the inside of my card and of course I said I just got it so let me um, show you how I put my stickers on my stamps so I take it out like that and then I pull off the whole sticker like this and then peel off just half of the back sticker. Then I take this and lay it where it goes. Now I can move it around and then hold that in place and then put that sticker down exactly where it goes. Now I put my finger on the sticky part here because we don't want it to stick together. And then as you take this off, you can just lay it down. And that's how you get the stickers on, at least that's how I get the stickers onto my stamp set. And then back with the Mary Malo, I'm going to stamp that. And I'll make sure I don't have it upside down. That would be awful. Onto the inside. Hopefully I can get it straight. Let me stick my head in there real quick and stamp it down. Ta da! There we go. Okay. Now, look, I got ink on my fingers. Darn it. We might have to let that dry a little bit. My Mary Malo is very happy inky ink pad. So with my piece here that I've stamped on, I'm going to just put some adhesive on the ends here. So again, I can tuck my trunks if I need to. And this is the one that I'm going to make sure the bottom of my card has the same border that the top and the sides do now. So it looks like that. Do you see how it all has the same border all the way around now? And then with my tree, let me get out all those little extra pieces. Hold on. There we go. A little bit of liquid glue. I'm gonna just kind of pounce around there it doesn't take a lot. It's not like anybody's going to try to peel your tree off. But the glue will make it so you can slide the tree into place. And now I want it. Hold on. Right. <laughs> I can't grab that. There we go. Right underneath that piece there. And then it will slide like that. And then this tree. Let's get rid of some of these little pieces on this tree. Sometimes if you just flick it, they fall out, but not today. That'd be way too convenient. Okay, and then a little bit of liquid glue. Let me see where I want. Nope, I think he's going to go on top of this one here, on top of the bottom of the snow, the bottom piece of snow. That doesn't make any sense. But I'm going to just daub. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the bottom. Just dab some um, liquid glue on there and then lay him right there. Whoop, that stuck to my finger. That's embarrassing. There we go. Stick to the paper. So it looks like that. Now it just needs a little bit more color. And on the original one, I used the deer that is from the snow globe snow scenes dies this little guy here but I want to try this deer here now this is the um, framelits that coordinate with this stamp set that we just used the wishes wonders and let's see what this big guy looks like on the card so once again I'm gonna bring in my die cut machine here Take these pieces off. I have just a scrap of brown. And this is soft suede. Whoops, gotta turn him over. And we'll just set him on there. There, he fits right there. Run this through my die cut machine, making sure everything's straight. Let's 
see how he looks. Boy, right, now I'll tell you, when you use Stampin' Up's magnetic cutting plate, this here, look how nice he cuts out and has, he even has embossing on there and the whole nine yards. Is that not beautiful? I think he's gonna look really nice on my card right here. Yep, let's put him down there. I'm gonna just use some liquid glue for him too. Maybe a little bit on his hooves down here. And I'm gonna try to get a little bit on his antlers so when I put him in the envelope, they don't get stuck. Or worse yet, ripped off, huh? And then just set him right there. What do you think? You'll have to let me know. Do you like the little deer better? Or do you like the little deer, the big deer? I still can't decide. So let me show you. You know that I have been using this In the Pine stamp set quite a bit this month. It might be my favorite stamp set out of the holiday catalog. And now if you don't have a holiday catalog, it looks like this. It's good from August to December. You let me know and I'll send you one. But let me show you a couple other cards that I've made with the In the Pine stamp set. So I have this one here, and now this one, I took the dies, and I made a little 3D card, or 3D tree, on the front of my card that looks like that. And really, if you wanted to mail it, all you'd have to do is lay him flat, slip him in the envelope, and then when he comes, when he gets there, they could fluff him back up. But that's one card. And then this card is right out of the catalog. Really simple, this thinking of you, you could also use the season's greeting and turn this into a Christmas card and you have to love these gold hoops. I think they're beautiful. So that's a simple card there. And then this one, I love the blue with the trees and this is another die. These are dies of the trees that we use today that you can cut those out with the, no, with a stamp that we stamped on the inside. You can cut those out with the dies. And I don't know if you can see, but I stamped on my ribbon with the little snow stamp, and it looks like it's a polka dot ribbon. And then the last one I think you've seen me do here on Facebook or on my YouTube channel is the one out of the catalog that looks like that. So I love the In the Pines bundle. I think you will too. And of course, in the month of September, if you place an order, I'm going to go ahead and send you as a thank you a little bit of bling. So the order needs to be $25 before shipping and tax, and I'll send you some bling. And let's see what it would look like if we took one of those little bling and put it on a reindeer's nose and made him look like Rudolph. We'll see if it's a yay or a nay. Huh, there you go. So now we have Rudolph in the forest. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great holiday weekend, and I'll see you back here Friday at about 11 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.